Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to auto generate date dimension in our SSS cube. So for the purpose of this video tutorial, I have taken the SSAS Dev3 project that we have developed in our earlier tutorial and I have deliberately removed the date dimension from everywhere, okay, from cube as well as from the dimensions. So right now we can see in cube there is no date dimension. Also in DSV also I have removed the date dimension. So there is no date dimension present over here in the cube. We can see that, right? Now over here in the dimensions list also, there is database dimensions list also, we can see that there is no date dimension as I have removed it. So now in order to add the date dimension or auto generate the date dimension, let us start the wizard and select the second option, generate a timetable in a data source. Now, let us specify the dates between which you want to generate the values for the date dimension. Now, let us select year, quarter, month and date. Okay. Let it be a regular calendar. Okay. And this is very important, generate schema now. This will then, let us click first of all finish. This will now start the wizard for generating the schema. So with the help of this wizard, we will be able to generate a table in our data source, that is in our base database. Okay. So let us select our base database, that is Snowflake one. And let us populate the table right now. Okay. Let us click next and finish. So it gives the summary. Let us click finish. So now at this stage, it is pop, it will create and populate the date dimension data in our base database also, that is OLTP database also. And it will also create date dimension in our SSAS cube. So we can see that the time dimension has been created, right? Let us close this. So we can see right now that the time dimension has been created along with its hierarchy of year, quarter, month and date. And if you go to DSV, we can see that the time dimension is auto created, auto generated. And in the cube, in the cube dimensions, we can add the cube dimension and select the time, right? So it will add time and dimension in the cube dimension also. We can then connect our time dimension. So this is our time dimension. Let us see in database table also, right? Whether it has created the table or not. So let us refresh. And we can see that in our database tables also, it has created this time table. Okay. And we can query the table to see its values. So it has auto populated the table required for time also. So I hope friends, this video tutorial on how to generate or auto generate the date dimension or the time dimension is useful to you. Thank you.